His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a written letter to the Pope of the Vatican, His Holiness Pope Francis, which was handed over to His Highness at the Vatican by the Minister of Public Affairs at the Royal Court, Dr. Majid bin Ali al-Naimi. The letter relates to strengthening the close relations between Bahrain and the Vatican in many fields, including cooperation between the King Hamad Digital Library and the Vatican Apostolic Library. The Vatican Apostolic Library was established in the 15th century and includes many manuscripts and books in various languages, including Arabic manuscripts and books in various fields of knowledge, such as medicine, astronomy, mathematics, and literature. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Authority of Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Committee, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the fourth race of the 2024-25 season was held for the Bahrain Bourse Cups at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club track in Arrafa. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the race, sponsor, and horse racing enthusiasts. The competitions took place amidst an atmosphere of excitement and enthusiasm in which the horses competed for the Bahrain Bors Cups, which are presented for the first time in the history of horse racing. Within the framework of the new partnership between the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and the Bahrain Bors, the winners were crowned with the Bahrain Bors Cups, where the CEO of Bahrain Bors, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, presented the eighth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the fifth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the third round cup to Sami Abdullah Nas. The chairman of Bahrain Bors, Abdul Karim Bouchiri, handed over the cup of the seventh round to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa received the cup of the first round from Chief Operating Officer of Bahrain Bors, Abdullah Abdin, while His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cups of the second and fourth rounds from Abdul Karim Bouchiri. The race included eight rounds. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azegani, met in Rabat in Morocco with the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, on the occasion of the Human Rights Council meeting hosted by the Kingdom of Morocco. During the meeting, aspects of joint cooperation between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Human Rights Commission were discussed in various fields related to the protection of human rights and freedoms and the ways to enhance and develop it to achieve the desired goals. In addition, the most prominent achievements within the National Human Rights Plan 2022 to 26 were discussed and reviewed, which constitutes a roadmap for enhancing human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Both sides also exchanged views on a number of regional and international issues, developments in the Middle East, and the humanitarian conditions suffered by civilians and refugees as a result of the war on the Gaza Strip and southern Lebanon. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Morocco, Khaled bin Salman al -Msallam. The chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri, opened Al Mulla Muhammad Mosque in Manama Souq area. The mosque renovation and maintenance were funded by the Ahmed bin Hassan Ibrahim family. Dr. Al Hajri praised the efforts of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the construction and maintenance of places of worship. He praised the Ahmed bin Hassan Ibrahim family for their community partnership in preserving Al Mulla Muhammad Mosque a significant landmark in the Manama Souq. Dr. Al Hajri affirmed that the Council remains committed to developing and maintaining religious places. <coughs> 
The Russian capital, Moscow, witnessed the conclusion of the Bahraini Cultural Days. After an activity that enriched the local cultural movement in the city and opened a window for the public to learn about the culture, heritage and arts of Bahrain throughout the history. The two-day cultural program was organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities in cooperation with the Russian Ministry of Culture as part of the Memorandum of Understanding signed between the two sides. The exhibition from the Treasures of Bahrain, The Art of Goldsmithing Through the Ages, will run for three months. The exhibition offers the opportunity to view unique Bahraini gold pieces that exemplify the skill of Bahraini craftsmen as well as tools and documents of the kingdom's efforts in preserving this ancient heritage craft. And in sustainable development news, the Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to strengthen its position as a distinctive tourist destination by adopting strategies that establish the principle of sustainable tourism and the Kingdom's efforts in this aspect are represented by the implementation of ambitious initiatives and projects that offer unique and sustainable tourism experiences for all.